Washington. Um, good evening, honorable representatives. My name is Carly Finch. I'm a local resident, a student at Canvas High School, a congregant at Radiant Church, and most importantly, a follower of Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm here today with the blessing of my pastor and support of friends and family that share the same hope. In January of this year, John Speed of New York closed his bookstore in Syracuse for the day in protest of the state's new law allowing abortions past 24 weeks of pregnancy. He then appeared to a city council, pleading with them to make Batavia a sanctuary city for the unborn. Powerfully, he asked his representatives, what is the best way to kill a baby? <coughs> to which he gives the answer, there is no good way to kill a baby, thou shalt not kill. Today I am here to remind you that the city council serves as an agent of the living God, and to ask you to make the city a sanctuary for the unborn. I am aware that in this city there are no active abortion clinics, but in our neighbors, Vancouver and Portland, this is not the case. And we must set an example of what it truly means to value life. If we don't do something to protect our own city, there's nothing stopping that industry of death from knocking on our door. Local residents have been pushing in recent months for Washougal and Camas to become a sanctuary cities for the Second Amendment in order to protect gun rights. Our community values the protection of life. How much more do you think will oppose the murder of, murder of little children in the womb? You may ask, on what authority do I bring this request? Not on my own. I don't attempt to bring before you numbers and scenarios that might sway your mind to protect <coughs> The science has been proven before, and one lost life should be small enough number to incite change. I desire to bring your consciousness to bear with the word of God, because it is from that standard that we get the intrinsic value of life. Exodus 20, 13 says, you shall not commit murder. Proverbs 24, 11 through 12, rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. If you say, behold, we did not know this. Will not he who keeps watch over your soul know it? And will not he... Will not he who ugh, sorry. <laughs> uh, does not he who wears the heart weighs the heart perceive it? Does not he who keeps watch over your soul know it? And will he not repay man according to his work? Speaking of governmental powers, Paul says in Romans thirteen four, for he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain, for he is a servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Representatives do not bear the sword in vain. Protect the future residents of your city, of this planet, at all costs because the living God commands you to. Take a stand against the murder happening all around us. Set an example. Protect life. The state of Alabama recently proved that this is not a worthless effort, and now other states in our nation are pushing similar legislation. Be the city in our state to inspire those around us to change so that we may join them in the task of ending abortion in the United States of America. And I plead with you, if you have not already, come to Christ, where there is life and life abundantly. Scripture tells us that all are depraved and in need of redemption, and Jesus died in order to righteously provide that redemption for all who repent.